Senator Hirono. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. To ensure the fitness of all nominees who appear before any of the committees on which I sit, I ask the following two initial questions, which I will ask uh, each of the panel, uh, which of the nominees, and we'll start with Mr. Edwards. Since you became a legal adult, have you ever made unwanted requests for sexual favors or committed any verbal or physical harassment or assault of a sexual nature? No, Senator. No, Senator. No, Senator. No, Senator. Have you ever faced discipline or entered into a settlement related to this kind of conduct? No, Senator. No, Senator. No, Senator. No, Senator. Thank you. Mr. Edwards, as an assistant U.S. attorney, you were an attorney in lawsuits successfully requiring local schools to desegregate and bring in more minority students and faculty. What is the importance of these desegregation orders to the community, and how do they advance our nation's ongoing commitment to equality? Thank you, Senator, for the question. Uh, I, as, as chief of our civil division uh, in the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Western District of Louisiana, uh, I assisted my colleagues here in Washington with uh, the uh, ongoing consent decree matters pending in our district. And uh, I can say that uh, the, uh, all of those cases worked toward ensuring that uh, past vestiges of de jure uh, discrimination were being remedied. <laughs> Uh, th thank you for that, because I, uh, I do think that we still face uh, issues relating to racial discrimination and equality in our country, that is for certain. You also served as chair of the Louisiana Judiciary Committee, uh, receiving complaints against state judicial officers, uh, so you evaluated the character and fitness of candidates for the state bar, among other things. So uh, why are judicial ethics and judicial integrity important to the justice system? Senator, judicial ethics is, is very important to public confidence in the judicial system. Um, in courts, um, generally, someone is going to be disappointed in the outcome of a case. Mm -hmm. But judicial ethics, if properly followed, can ensure that everyone has confidence in the process that they went through to, to, to reach that outcome. I think I am um, uh, re relating to the fact that our uh, Supreme Court does not have a code of ethics. I won't uh, put you on the spot with that one, but uh, there are some of us here who consider that very important. For uh, Judge Maddox, among your speaking engagements, you served uh, as a presiding judge in naturalization ceremonies for New Americans. And these are important civic events that bring together communities and our country's newest citizens. What did it mean to you to participate in the naturalization ceremonies and uh, what lessons did you learn when you presided over these ceremonies? Oh, thank you for that question, Senator. I can say that my experience presiding at naturalization ceremonies may be among the most gratifying experiences that I've had as a judge. Um, never as a judge do you get an opportunity to see so many smiling faces in the same place and everybody walk in happy and everybody walk out happy where nobody loses. Um, but more importantly, um, the lesson that I draw from each of those, um, each of those events is um, the, the vast range of experiences that bring the people in that room to that room. And they meet in the same place, but they come from literally all over the world. And there must be something in, that they hold in common that brings them there. And what, holds them in, what, holds, what they hold in common becomes evident in the course of that ceremony. Um, they want, they've picked this country out of anywhere else in the world to live out the rest of their lives. So there's something special about that country, this country that brings everyone into that, room, wor in, into that room from all over the world. And to be reminded of that mm -hmm. and the gravity of that, I think is humbling as a judge and it's a lesson that I take with me in my work throughout um, my caseload. We often refer to our country as a country of immigrants except for the um, Native peoples who were here long before the white people came. So uh, yes, I think it is really important that uh, 
The naturalization ceremonies, which I have also participated in, both as a naturalized citizen, but also as a, as a member of Congress, uh, have been very, very touching to see all these people who come to our country with a, the, the promise that our country holds for a better life for themselves and their families. And, uh, and that is very, very ob uh, obvious. And you know, there are tears and, as you say, a lot of smiles. Thank you very much for uh, your participation in these uh, very important ceremonies. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, Senator Ronos. Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.